Hi, ladies and gentlemen, Mrs. Norris here. So in this activity, what we're doing is we're looking at a famous painting called The Spirit of the Frontier, and we're just evaluating what we see, just, just deciding what we see to be most important, what stands out to us, what's the first thing that we notice. So I've already made a copy of this slideshow, and as you can see, I've changed the words copy to to my first and last name so that when I submit it, my teacher know who's, knows whose document this is. So please make sure if you haven't done that yet to pause this tutorial and change again, copy to, to your first and last name. All right, so the best thing to do because we are looking at a piece of art is to put this in present mode because it's going to give us a bigger version of the picture or maybe more details will stand out to us than they do while it is in um, regular uh, slideshow. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the present button. Okay, and um, again, this gives us a bigger picture so that we kind of notice what is going on. And we want to make sure that we look at it in all four corners, top to bottom. So I'm looking at it in the top right hand corner. And now I'm looking at it in the bottom right hand corner. And now the bottom left hand corner. and now the top left-hand corner. Now during this time, I'm not speaking because I want your eyes to go there and I want your eyes to see what they see without much input from me. So now I'm gonna look at the foreground, which is the bottom half of the image, what's in the front. So I'm gonna take a couple seconds to look at the foreground, the bottom half. And now I'm gonna take a couple seconds to look at the background, the top half, what's happening in the background of the scene. All right, so let's read what it says here. It says, look at the picture. There's a larger version here. If I were to click on the word here, it's gonna take me to the Wikipedia version of this picture, which is the same picture, um, just a little bit bigger. Okay, and I'm gonna read what it says here. It says, from Wikipedia, this painting shows manifest destiny, the belief that the United States would expand from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. In 1872, artist John Gast painted a popular scene of people moving west that captured the view of Americans at the time. Called Spirit of the Frontier and widely distributed as an engraving, portrayed settlers moving west, guided and protected by Columbia, who represents America and is dressed in a Roman toga to represent classical republicanism, and aided by technology, rail railways, and the telegraph, driving Native Americans and bison into obscurity. The technology shown in the picture is used to represent the outburst of innovation and invention of modern technology. It is also important to note that Columbia is bringing the light as witnessed on the Eastern side, so the right-hand side of the painting as she travels towards the darkened West. Okay, so now that I've read the description, I'm gonna look at all of those pieces again, starting in the top, um, left-hand corner and making my way around. So I'm going to give myself about another 10 seconds or so to re-look at the picture now that I have a little bit of background information. Okay, so let's escape out of here and go back to slide number two now. And now in slide number two, it says use the circles below to circle the first three things that you noticed when you looked at the picture. Resize the circles if you need to. So if I put it back in present mode, what's the first thing my eyes are drawn to? And that's where I'm gonna move the red circle, okay? And it says, what did you circle? Erase this text and type your response. So I'm gonna give a description of what I am circling here. 
And then number two, what drew your eye to this? So why was it something that I circled? Um, erase this text and type your response here. So let's say, for example, if the first thing that I noticed was um, the natives that are on the uh, bottom foreground, left-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over. And then I want to resize. So dragging from the corner, I'm going to resize. Okay, and then I'm going to type what it is I see. So I see what looks like a family of Native Americans um, who are traveling to the West. Um, and uh, I see a woman and child. I see what I, uh, a man, I see a dog, I see a horse. So I'm going to type all of that stuff here. And then if I take it back into present mode, um, if I look at the man, he looks a little worried, maybe looking up at the person, this, the woman looks kind of sad. The dog is obviously running away from this spirit that's floating in the air. So I'm going to write that down. Um, <clears throat> So the man looks worried as he looks at the spirit, the floating spirit, and the woman looks sad. Now I'm kind of running out of space here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize my text down to 10 to make it just a little bit smaller. What drew your eye to this? And I think it's just... Um, the idea of a scared family running from the floating spirit. Okay, so <clears throat> you're not only telling me what you see and what you've circled, but you are also sharing with me why you think that stood out to you, why that's something that you, um, that caught your eye in the beginning of looking at this picture. There are two things that you can do if you run out of space. You can do what I did just a second ago and you can lower it, make 10 the lowest font size that you use. The other thing that you can do is if you click and drag your mouse from one cell to the next, that's what these are called cells, and then you right click you can merge the cells together into one and that will give you more space as well. So again, if you need to resize to make more space, you can um, resize your font. Don't go any lower than 10. Or if you click and drag your mouse from one cell to the other, and then you right click, you can merge these cells into one and that will give you more space as well. So once you're done, make sure that you do um, the green and the purple circle as well, typing what you what exactly you see in the circle and why you think that stood out to you. Then you're going to go to File, Download, PDF, and then you're going to download this as a PDF and submit it to Canvas for grading. Please make sure before you submit again that you have changed copy of to your first and last name so I know whose document this is since there isn't a space to put your name on either one of the slides.